Do you want to use your Echo as a better sounding Bluetooth speaker for a phone or a tablet? Do you want to connect an Echo to a better sounding speaker, such as a home entertainment system, a sound bar, or maybe a Bluetooth speaker so you could take it around the house? This is an updated guide on how to set up and use Bluetooth on your Echo. Hello and welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Craig. If you want to get more out of your tech, you are in the right place. Things have changed a lot over the years with the electric app and there are a lot of new subscribers who may not have seen my original bluetooth video so it's time for a 2020 update on setting it up i've also included some additional control tips let's take a look at connecting to your echo as a speaker and finish with connecting the echo to another speaker the easiest way to connect an echo to a phone or tablet is to go into your phone or tablet's bluetooth settings and get it ready to pair next you'll say the pair a new bluetooth device Searching. I don't see anything to connect. Check the device you'd like to use and make sure Bluetooth is turned on. To set up a new device, go to your Alexa app. You'll get that nothing to pair announcement. I don't know why. I've never had it find anything new to pair, but this is a quick way to put the Echo into pairing mode. You'll go into your Bluetooth settings on your phone and you'll now see the Echo there. So you click on it. <laughs> Connect it to Craig Paulson's iPhone. Now that you're paired, next time just say, connect my phone. Now that's an easy way using your voice and your phone's Bluetooth settings. The other way to do it is to go into the app. Once in the app, you're gonna go to devices, select the Echo that you wanna pair, go to Bluetooth and select pair new device. Your phone or tablet may not show up, that's okay. Once the Echo starts looking for a new device, go back to your phone or tablet's Bluetooth settings and select the Echo to finish pairing. Connect it to Craig Paulson's iPhone. Now that you're paired, next time just say, connect my phone. No matter what method you use, now you can play music or other media and it will use the Echo as a speaker. So I start playing on my phone. In my garage, I have an Echo Dot set up as a speaker for my iPad so I could listen to some music out there. Now, if you're using it for video sound, you will notice a little lag in the audio. Another thing to note is that you cannot answer calls and talk through the speaker of the Echo or hear any of your phone notifications. That would be really cool to be able to use it for calls as a speaker phone. Amazon, I need you to get on top of that. Now for control tips, if you want to pause your music, you can say something like, Alexa, pause. Now you could start playing again by saying Alexa, play. Playing Bluetooth. Now if you want to control your tracks, you could say Alexa. Next track. If you want to go back, you could say Alexa, go back a track. Now, if you want to disconnect, you could say, Alexa, disconnect my phone. Now disconnected from Craig Paulson's iPhone. To connect again, you would say, Alexa, connect to my phone. Searching. You can pair multiple devices to your Echo, but it will default to connecting to the last device that it was connected to. You can also go into your phone settings once you're paired and just select the Echo to reconnect. Now connected to Craig Paulson's iPhone. If you want to connect to another device such as a tablet or a computer, you can do the same process by asking paired to a new device to get it into pairing mode. Then go into your device settings and select the Echo to finish the pairing process. Now let's connect a Bluetooth speaker. Right here I am using an Anchor Soundcore speaker. This is a great little speaker at a great price. You can check it out with the link in the description. You know under 30 bucks you get some pretty solid sound with good battery life. Now to get started, you're going to want to put your device into pairing mode. Next, you'll open up the Alexa app, go to your devices, select the Echo you want, select Bluetooth, and pair a new device. 
Then your speaker should show up. If for some reason it doesn't show up the first time, try closing the app and reopening it. For some reason, this app gets dumb at times. When you do see your speaker in the list, you would just select it and you are paired. Connect it to Anchor Sound Core. Now that you're paired, next time just say, connect my speaker. From there, all your echo sounds going to go through that speaker. Alexa, what's the weather today? It's 89 degrees Fahrenheit with clear skies and sun. Today, you can look for mostly sunny weather with a high of 90 degrees and a low of 60 degrees. If you're playing music through your speaker and you want to play or pause, you just press the play or pause button on your speaker, press it again, and music will start back up. This is a little laggy at times. Now to disconnect, you would say, Alexa, disconnect. Now disconnect it from Anchor Sound Core. Alexa, pause. Sound resumed right, by, right back to the echo. To connect back up, you would say, Alexa, connect to speaker searching we're connected right up you can also disconnect by just turning off power to your speaker if you do turn off power to your speaker next time you turn it back on it will automatically connect to your Echo. Having a portable speaker connected can be great if you want to take your music outside or somewhere else in the house. Connecting to a speaker is also great if you want to hook your Echo up to a better sounding Bluetooth speaker. The Echoes can bring you a lot of music, audiobooks, and more streaming right from it, but sometimes it's just easier to use your phone to control your music, select a podcast, or just listen to the audio from a YouTube video. I like that you can take advantage of an Echo as a speaker, or you can take advantage of the streaming options on the Echo and send it to a different speaker. Now, do you use your Echo as a Bluetooth speaker or use Bluetooth to connect to another device? Next, make sure to check out this video over here for some more tips for your Echo. I'll see you over there. Thanks for watching.